Hello everybody and welcome to a video, or welcome to Ozone, first of all, <laughs> welcome to Ozone, uh, and welcome to a video that you guys have been wanting me to make for ages now, but I thought just because Gumdrop Angel has, has basically just dropped, um, like, one to two weeks ago, I can now do a tier list um, with Gumdrop Angel in, so that is what we're going to be doing today, we are going to be uh, rating all 24 stories. I cannot believe I have read through 24 of these stories. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. We're going to go through each one and say why I like each one and why I hate all, all the rest. <laughs> um, so I do have very strong opinions on a lot of these. Um, I do want to just say that I, I don't want to obviously discredit Scott because all of them are amazing stories and, and they're so well done. They're so well produced. Uh, and there's so many of them produced in so little time as well. Um, usually it takes years to write stories and stuff. But, um, yeah, there, there are some which I don't like, which other people like, which is completely fine, obviously. But um, it's just my opinion. Just remember that. It's my opinion, and I'll have reasoning behind it. Anyway, so Into the Pit. Into the Pit was genuinely one of the best stories Um if it's, uh, the only thing that I, I don't like about it is it was a little bit confusing, uh, or at least uh, back then when I when I first read it, when I read it for the first time, it was very confusing, and it wasn't the greatest opening um, to what this series could 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 do. Um, but it is the classic, and I think it is going to go in the A tier, um, just because it is the classic, and because it it's it's so it's really well written and. It really got us going, and of course it was a missing children's incident kind of story. Um, maybe it might be the MCI, maybe not, uh, but it's still got us theorising these days on whether or not MCI 85 is a thing. Um, who knows, um, but I quite like this. And yeah, that is one thing I'm rating on as well. I would say I'm rating on the quality of writing, the plot, and if uh, things can be taken from it and put into the FNAF lore. Um, I, th I think those three things are are very big. To be beautiful, this is my this is genuinely my all time favorite story. Now, a lot of you are going to disagree with me on this, um, but To Be Beautiful is one of the most beautiful stories. Um, it's just it's so um like the twist is so great. It is amazing because um, you kind of understand what's happening. Eleanor is very creepily described, and I love it. It's it's such a good plot, such a good story. So, To Be Beautiful goes up in S. Count the ways. Count the ways. For me, uh, again, all of this is an opinion, for me, wasn't the best story. <laughs> um, I mean, Into the Pit as an entire book was was pretty good, I would say. But Count the Ways, um, I'd say, let down the book at the end. Um, I'm, I'm really sorry to say that, but I didn't really enjoy it. I get what they were going for. I completely get what they were going for. And there's some good parts in it. I didn't like the structure of the writing. I didn't like how it went from Funtime Freddy back to the family, back to Funtime Freddy, back to the family, you know, past to the future, to the past to the future. I didn't like that sort of stuff. Uh, I just, I prefer kind of like linear, um, what would you call it? Um, not alphabetical order. <laughs> I, I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm talking about. So anyway, Count the Ways for me is going in C, I think. Um, yeah, Count count the Ways is going in C. Um, epilogues, I'm not going to worry about because I can't honestly remember which epilogue is which, and also, technically, it's just one big story, so I'm, I'm not going to count the epilogues. Fetch! Fetch was good. It was very science-y. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. I liked the plot, and the ending as well. I always forget about Fetch, honestly, um, but the Fetch ending was, was pretty, was pretty gr good. Uh, it was kind of... It wasn't a cliffhanger, but... It wasn't fully explained what happened. And that was another thing with Count the Ways, is the ending wasn't great because it was on a cliffhanger. It didn't feel satisfying. Um, but Fetch, on the other hand, it, it, it didn't... The ending wasn't complete, I don't think, because we don't quite know what happens, but we kind of get a good idea. Um, I think Fetch... 
either B or A. I would say like B plus. But I'm gonna put it in. No, I'm gonna put it in B. I'm gonna be harsh. I'm gonna be harsh uh, in this. And actually, now that I think about it, I'm I'm thinking about putting into the pit in B. I think I'm gonna put into the pit in B. But I want to do it in order. There we go. <laughs> um, so yeah, into the pit I think is going in B. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna be changing a lot as I do this. Lonely Freddy. Lonely Freddy. Uh, very very good as well. Um, I would say it is it is the same kind of ranking as Fetch. Um, yeah, I, I didn't. There wasn't much of a build up to it, or was there? I don't. I don't really know. I don't really remember. If a story is memorable, um, it's a good story. I think. I, I think Lonely Freddy was was kind of a good one out of the three in Fetch, but does that mean it goes in A, or does it mean it stays in B? I think. It, I think I'm putting it in B. I think I'm putting it in B. Out of stock. Um, what do I say about out of stock? It was good. It was good. I but I again I think it's it's like a count the way story. I it wasn't that interesting to me. I'm so sorry if I'm offending all of you. Uh, if <laughs> Scott, if you're watching, no, I'm. I I I really don't like doing this. I don't like rating things lowly. But I've got to keep like a bell curve at least. Um, so I'm, I'm putting it out of stock in C. It was okay. It was an okay story. Um, it wasn't necessarily bad. It was just not for me, I think. I don't know. I, I have no idea. 1.35am. I have a few issues with 1.35am. One of them being that, um, it was very repetitive. Another one was that the ending, again was kind of on a cliffhanger, we kind of assumed that, um, oh god, what, Delilah died, we kind of assumed that Delilah died, um, but, I mean, there, there were some good things about it, there were some good things, there were some creepy moments, uh, Ella was very well described, and I like how she comes back from, uh, what was it, the fourth closet, I assume, um, I, yeah, I, I don't know, I really don't, this is harder than I thought it would be, man, I thought this would be way easier. I do kind of need to speed up. I'm going to put this in C. I just don't know. Okay, yeah, I'm going to put this in C. Definitely C. That's that's a good place for it, I think. Room for one more. Oh, my God. Another one of my favorite stories is Room for One More. Um, I As you can probably see by the top two, I kind of like the gruesome ones. Not not necessarily gruesome, but the ones with big twists. Uh, and, like, where everything you know about the universe just kind of crumbles, you know? Um, room for one more. That The plot of that, for me, was, like, top quality, um, top quality horror plot. Um, but also kind of sci- not sci-fi, but, you know, um, hyper-realistic, I guess. Um, Room for One More, for me, was, was, was one of the best stories of the bunch, so it has to go in S. The New Kid. Okay, this one's tricky, because I really like The New Kid for, kind of, the lore it brings, and the, and the kind of twist. Um, and I really liked the story, too. Um, it was just a little bit confusing at the end, um, for no reason. And also, it was a little bit slow at the start. But regardless of that, I actually think it's a top tier quality, uh, a top tier story. Um, but I'm not going to put it in top tier because <laughs> that would be boring. Uh, I'm actually going to put it in A. I'm going to put it in A because it was it was good, but it wasn't it wasn't up there. Um, it needed just an extra like an extra gory detail or an extra twist or something. Uh, I know there was there was the twist of um, Kelsey. Was it Kelsey or Case? No, it was Kelsey, right? Um, of Kelsey, like um, of Kelsey going back. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I, it wasn't Kelsey. Kelsey was in Dance with Me, wasn't it? I always get them confused. Um, Kelsey. No, it was Kelsey. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, but anyway, step closer. 
Um, for me, it's it's a middle tier. It's a, it's a straight B, I think. Um, again, this one this one brought a lot of lore to the table. Um, with the, with the Michael Afton whole, whole the whole Michael Afton debate that was uh, partially settled. Um, we got a lot of Mike victims coming up to Mike Bro, um, and and the story was was good by itself. Um, the only thing that I think let it down was possibly the ending. Uh, it just it just wasn't as interesting as I was hoping. Oh no way, no! In the ending, it was the one where he his soul possessed him, a bit like how Michael Afton's does, uh, which I've just thought that is that is more proof that he is Michael Afton. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, no, I think I think Pete went through a tough time in that, and I and I think I I like the um like the curse in that story. It's it's very it's very. Well put together, but I think it's a middle tier. It's not as good as the new kid, I don't think. Um, dance with me now. Dance with me for literally everybody I have talked to is bottom tier. I have no idea why. I genuinely enjoy dance with me. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go back on myself. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I think I think Dance with Me is also a B. I was gonna put Step Closer in into C, but I think it's I think Dance with Me is also a B. It's again, it's not bottom. It's definitely not bottom. It's a really good story, and I like I really like uh, all the places that um, I I swear it's it's Kelsey or is it Casey? I'm just gonna call Dance with the Dance with Me one Casey. So Casey or Kelsey. But Casey um, goes around places, and I quite I quite like that. I quite like how everything starts from the beginning, um, where where she steal steals something, and then at the end, uh, everything's okay, and it's a happy end. Or it could be a happy ending, but it also could be a bad ending. Uh, we don't know. But that is kind of a good cliffhanger, if you know what I mean. Um, it was that one line, um, and then she danced or something like that. That kind of got me. That that was good. Um, actually, should I put, I'm, I'm debating putting Dance With Me in A. It's kind of a, it's like in between a B plus and an A minus. I'm going to keep it in B. I think I'm going to keep it in B because I think there's ones that are better than Dance With Me. But remember that Dance With Me, um, for me is probably like the highest out of all of these. Genuinely. Uh, I don't understand why, why everyone hates it. Uh, Coming Home, however, D. Uh, I was talking to, <laughs> I was talking to Inky Ink about this, because um, he does tier lists and stuff, you should go and check him out. Um, coming Home for me was such a boring story, and again, I don't discredit Scott, because all of them are good stories, uh, and, and I would have thought that I would have liked this one because it's got lore in it, it's, it like the main character is called Susie, it's, it's Susie's story. But it was so boring, and there weren't any twists or anything like that. But also, it was it it didn't like set me into the universe in a way, and and I didn't understand what was happening half the time. Like I swear, in that story, she was alive, and then she was taken from her house by Chica, and then she was a ghost or something. But she could write, and then her sister could see it, I didn't understand any of it, <laughs> I didn't, it all went through one ear and went out of the other, I mean, I know I'm making these audiobooks, um, so that's probably why I don't take in as much information, because I'm actually making the audiobooks rather than engaging with them, but for me, coming home was, was kind of boring, um, and I didn't understand it, and I don't really know what it means in terms of the plot of everything, um, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Scott, but it has to go in D. Um, Bonnie Cool. Bonnie Cool for me. Uh, C. Oh. Ah, I'm str I want to put it in D. I want to put it in D. It just, it wasn't, there, there was nothing, oh no, 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 no. I've just thought of the ending of this one. It has to be C. Um, the ending of this one is what saved it. Um, I didn't really enjoy it, like, that's, that's it, um, I, I just didn't really enjoy it, it wasn't an enjoyable story for me, uh, but again, like, these are the kind of stories that I like, you know, the weird ones, the wacky ones, um, Bonnie Call for me, yeah, the ending saved it, because the ending was, was actually a twist that I didn't see coming, 
uh, if you don't recall, it was where um, obviously they had Ralpho that night come to their house to try and scare them. Um, but luckily the main character, Bob, backed, backed Ralpho away. Um, but the, the next morning or whatever, the announcer of the camp uh, said, oh, we're sorry that Ralpho didn't come um, this, 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 this uh, yesterday. Last, last night, uh, but obviously he did, so there's something wrong with Ralpho. Uh, it, that's never explained, though. That's never explained what's wrong with Ralpho, unless it's Agony or it's some guy in a suit. I don't know. I don't know how it fits in, but either way, Bunny Cool is going in C, uh, not D, just because of the ending, I think. Uh, in the flesh! Guess where this one's going? Guess where In the Flesh is going? Right up top. <laughs> uh, right up there. Right up there. Um... Again, In the Flesh is one of those gory stories, and I adore it. I adore the plot of that. Um, there was one part that I didn't really understand, and it was the hacker part. Because um, the, there was this random hacker that was um, on, like, one page of the, of the story. I assumed that that was um, how, like... The, the virus or the spring trap got into uh, the belly of Matt. But I, I don't know, because Matt was being a uh, a prick throughout the entire story, so I guess he deserves it. Um, but In the Flesh, for me, w was was quality. It was quality. Uh, it shows the relationship between William Afton and Henry, um, a little bit about Glitch Trap, I'd say, and, and a little, like, FNAF VR game. It's so cool. Um, the man in room 1280, 1280, however you want to say it. I'm actually struggling with this one. I'm actually struggling. Because, oh, I, oh, I, I think I enjoyed it. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to put it in A. I think I'm going to put it in A. Yeah. I, w I was thinking about B, but... No, I, now that I think about it, now that I recall what the story is about and stuff, A. I ha, it has to be A. Um, the Man in Room 1280 is a good story, let's be honest. Um, but that's all it really is. <laughs> it's, it's a good story. Um, there weren't any any insane plot points here. Uh, I mean, at the end, he explodes or whatever into all of the... Uh, I'm assuming into what becomes the FNAF AR company, I, I, I don't know, I don't know much about that, but, um, yeah, <laughs> it was, it, the, all I can really say about it, it was, it was interesting, it was a, it was a dive deep, I, I like the part where all of the doctors, um, came in, uh, and, you know, tried to attack him, but he attacked back, uh, and basically killed them, um, the only thing I didn't like about this was that there were too many random characters, you know, um, I don't know why that girl was really there. <laughs> Blackbird. Uh, I say that like, Blackbird, but, um, this might have to go in D. This might have to go in D. Blackbird to me, it was, it, it felt interesting at first. Um, it was a very big twist on, on, on a horror story. It was like, oh yeah, we're making a horror story. Um, we're making a movie that, and it's going to be a horror and it's going to have this Blackbird suit. The thing about ba Blackbird was that zero of it made sense. This guy survived a train crash. Are you kidding me? Where did the Blackbird come from? Who is the Blackbird? All of it hasn't been explained. And that's just leaving us like, okay, well, do you expect us to like this story? You know? So, I don't know, Blackbird for me is a bit of a meh, you know, if, if some of it was explained more, and there were, like, some nicer plot points, might have been a C, maybe pushing for a B, but, um, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, Blackbird for me was, was one of the weaker stories, I'm very sorry. The Real Jake. Masterpiece. Genuinely. When it comes to writing Fazbear Fright stories, the real Jake is what I compare everything to. Think about Blackbird. Think about when you read Blackbird and then you read the real Jake. 
Like, imagine doing that backwards. Imagine reading The Real Jake and then reading Blackbird. The Real Jake is such a masterpiece in every single way. It got me in tears. It was so, it was such a beautiful story. Sometimes horror stories, FNAF stories, don't need to be scary. Um, like, genuinely, the scary thing about this is that it made me cry so bad. Um, there was a horror element at, at the end, um, but everything about the story was beautiful. I, I would read it a thousand times over, and, and it tells us the story of Jake as well. It was very lore feisty. Actually, if there was an above S tier, I would put it there. Um, but let's just remember that that is um, my favourite story, probably, out of all of these that I've read, which is weird, right? Like, I've got all of these, like, weird stories and, like, gruesome stories. And then I've got The Real Jake as my ultimate favourite. Um, it, it, you just can't get better than The Real Jake. It, it was so good. I loved every second of it. Hide and Seek. Now, this is actually, for me, one of the most forgettable stories. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It was one of the most forgettable stories. But it was interesting. Um, I... I really feel, I sorry, I've forgotten the main character's name, but I, oh, Toby, it was Toby, right? I, I, I really feel for Toby because he got this shadow or whatever it is attached to his back and he was doing whatever he could to take it off. Imagine if you were in that situation, you, you would just do anything you could to try and get it off and nothing works and... It's just that it's it's emotional to see like that failure, um, and and like breaking down over that. Um, I think it's gonna go in B. I think it's gonna go in B. Yeah, yeah. I think it's gonna be in B. It, it would be more. It would be more memorable if there was something even bigger. Also, some of it wasn't really explained. I mean, I guess it's for us to explain to ourselves so that we understand the law better. But uh, I think Iron Seek was a B tier. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. The Cliffs. The Cliffs is next. Um, I actually ad adored this story. Like, that's all I've got to really say about it. It, it was an adorable story. Um, the characters were adorable. Um, there were some really good, like, backstory um, elements to this as well with the family and things like that. Um, the, the police, like, it was very realistic as well, I feel like, um, because the policeman can't really do much apart from track down the vehicle that he thought, um, the child went, um, went in, but, um, I mean, I, yeah, to be honest, the, the dog thing wasn't realistic, the, the child crawling out of the gate with a dog, uh, but I'm, I'm so glad it was a happy ending and stuff like that, um, I think it's gonna go A. Um, it, it's one of the top stories for, for sure. Okay. Everyone's going to hate me. Everyone, everyone is going to hate me now. The Breaking Wheel. It's one of those stories. It's one of those stories that I, I couldn't get under. <laughs> um, I understand why people love this story. I understand my problem was that I didn't understand it. Um, I didn't understand it at all. And, okay, maybe it was because I was reading an audiobook um, for you. Maybe it was because I was tired. But there were a lot of things to me that didn't make sense. And I feel like if Scott wanted to do something like, um, oh, yeah, this house controls this house that we're in. You know, like this, this playhouse controls the house that we're in. If Scott was to actually say something like that in the story before, or at least establish that, um, make some foundations for the story, um, then it would be a more understandable story. But for me, it was, it it was okay until, um, until all of the house malarkey went on, uh, and then it didn't. It, I didn't really understand it. And and Julius was a weird character, uh, I think. So it's going in D. Also, I don't know. I don't understand why it's called the breaking wheel. There wasn't really a breaking wheel in there. It was. It was more of just a mangle story. Anyway, that's going in D. I'm so sorry. He told me everything. Again, uh, Inky Ink. <laughs> Inky Ink hates this story so much. I'm pretty sure this would be in like F. <laughs> he told me everything. Um, 
again, it's a forgettable story, and when I hear the, the title, He Told Me Everything, it actually takes me a while to figure out what the story was about. It takes me a while to connect this title to that story. I think it's going to go in C. Um, again, for Inky, it would be in D right now, or D minus. Um, but it was, it was okay. Um, that, they're just, it, it just, it didn't make much sense. It's kind of creep, actually, I'm going to put in D. It's kind of creepy that, um, that all of the children, I assume all of the children in that room, um, were basically replaced. <laughs> uh, and maybe that's how, like, Glitch Trap, oh, I just thought about that. Oh, huh, that's a weird thought. Maybe that's how, like, glitch, glitch Trap makes an army or something. But I, I'm assuming that's not happening with Security Breach now. Anyway, um, he told me everything was okay. It was bog standard. Um, the main character was was a douchebag. He kind of deserved it. Uh, Chris, he, he also has a douchebag name. <laughs> I'm sorry if anybody... I'm sorry if anybody watching is called Chris. Um, but anyway, Gumdrop Angel. Gumdrop Angel, um... It was good. It was good. Uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Gumdrop Angel quite a lot. Um, good plot. Um, very. It was. It was a short story, um, but I like short stories. And it was short, but it was interesting. There were a few parts in it that didn't make sense. Um, like there, there was this random biker that came by the car. I don't know why they felt the need to put that in the story, but. It's A tier. It's it's A tier. It has to be. Um, Sojo's lucky day. I am struggling. Oh my god. Do I put Sojo's lucky day in S, or do I put Sojo's lucky day in A, or B? Actually, yeah, it could it could be in B. Okay, well, well, thinking about that, it must be A then, because if it's between these three, I'll just go with average and straight down the middle. Um, Sojo's Lucky Day was uh, lovely, uh, but also horrible and interesting. <laughs> um, the ending, the ending for me, yeah, it was gruesome, just like these stories. It wasn't as bad, I don't think. Um, Lucky Boy was kind of a cute but creepy character at the same time. Um, I think that's what Scott was going for. But I, I, I enjoyed it. I, I just enjoyed reading through it. Okay, now what we found, I'm really struggling here. This is the last one. Um, what we found is going to be a C. It's going to be a C. No, it's going to be a B. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's going to be a B. It's going to be a B because it, I like the lore aspects of it. Um, it actually tell, told us a lot, and I, I need to make a video on this soon, but it told us a lot um, now that I think about it. Um, the only thing was it very, it confused me a lot when I first read it. Uh, it confused me a lot, a lot. I have, I had no idea why there were all these people in his ear and all these hallucinations and stuff, but now it all makes sense. Um, and it was generally an okay story. <laughs> um, so that's why I'm putting it in B. So that just leaves the epilogues and stuff, uh, which I'm not going to do, but there you go. There is my tier list. I don't think I want to change anything. I think that is good. So, my favourite stories are To Be Beautiful, Room For One More, In The Flesh, and The Real Jake. My least favourite are Coming Home, Blackbird, and The Breaking Wheel. Yeah, that no, that's, that's genuinely, I like that. I like that. That's perfect. So, these are my favourites. Um, the yellow and orange ones. Um, yeah, that, that, that's, that's me. <laughs> I want to see what other people put. Can, can I view community rank? Uh... No. <laughs> uh, I, yeah. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, there is an ad popping up, which I'm going to close. Thank you so much for watching me make this tier list. Tell me what you guys would have put where, and I will see you later. Goodbye.